Okay, welcome back. I, uh, before I get started on replacing my centrifugal clutch on my mini bike uh, with a CVT, I wanted to show kind of the ins and outs, uh, what's going on and what you can expect. Uh, here's the cover I'm looking at right now. Nothing special. Chain on the on the rear. You have uh, four cotter pins. I already pulled one cotter pin out. I don't know if you can see that or not. Got some sun behind the camera, but I wanted to show you uh, for anybody that's never done this before what to expect. Uh, these cotter keys come out very easily. They are not difficult at all. It's actually getting them back in that's the pain in the butt. Uh, I'm gonna try to do this one-handed without dumping the bike over on me. And so to access your centrifugal clutch, this is this is really all it takes is pull your pull your cotter keys out. And switch hands with the camera, and I'll try to show the underside. Just have these uh, tabs that go through this cover. So what I'll do is pull that up and over each tab on top, maybe. Again, not, not very easy when you're doing this one-handed. And then it'll just drop off the bottom. Okay, and there's your centrifugal clutch. That's what we're looking at right there. And then you have your rear your rear pulley, uh, you'll hear this called a jack shaft. Um, from my understanding is a jack shaft typically uh, sends power over to the opposite side of the wheel where this one uh, just changes the gear ratio uh, and then sends power back to the same side. Everything's on that on the left hand side of the bike. But your routine maintenance on these is going to include uh, putting oil here um, on this chain, uh, oil or a spray, uh, wax-based lubricant of some sort, um, and you also want to get that just on the just on the shaft that comes through. You do not want to put any inside these holes; uh, that'll interfere with the the clutch itself engaging properly. And then you have you just have a tensioner. A uh, very simple little little device here, and you want to make sure that you oil the shaft coming through that if you keep your stock centrifugal clutch installed. And and same thing down here, you just have a bearing that's just a, a sealed bearing. Um, not much you can do with that. And you want to make sure that you oil or uh, lubricate this uh, rear chain. Uh, otherwise, I'm not going to show you the maintenance on this centrifugal clutch, but I will show the removal. Uh, that should be my next video. So stay tuned and thanks for watching.